Human beings have a natural tendency to conform to the views and beliefs of whatever group, community or religion they belong to, even if those views and beliefs are unfounded and irrational. Psychological experiments such as those by Solomon Ash and Stanley Milgram prove how human beings in group situations and under the influence of authority figures will readily conform to the consensus around them, even if the views of the majority are clearly incorrect or unethical. Ash placed a lone subject in a group and asked them to identify lines of the same length. When the group intentionally gave an incorrect answer, 75% of the lone subjects conformed on at least one occasion. In other words, despite knowing it was wrong, they chose to conform rather than contradict the group. Stanley Milgram's experiments involved obeying authority. Subjects were led to believe the experiment was to observe the effects of pain on learning. Whenever the learner gave an incorrect answer, the subject was asked to administer an electric shock. In reality, there was no electric shock, but the subjects didn't know this. The size of the shock was increased by 15 volts for each incorrect answer, up to a maximum of 450 volts, enough to kill a man three times over. If at any time the subject indicated his desire to halt the experiment, he was given a succession of verbal prods in this order. Please continue. The experiment requires that you continue. It is absolutely essential that you continue. You have no other choice. You must go on. 65% of participants administered the final lethal 450 volt shock. In other words, most people would obey authority even when it conflicts with their personal conscience. In Milgram's experiments, the subjects were on their own with the authority figure and so were not able to see those who refused to continue. Ash, however, wanted to see how a little dissent might change the outcome of his experiments and discovered that even the presence of a single dissenting ally was enough to reduce conformity by 80%. I remember when I was still a Muslim, I attended a halaqa once when verse 34 of Surah Nisa was touched upon. This is the verse that gives a husband permission to hit his wife in certain circumstances. One of the sisters in the group began explaining that it is only for serious misconduct and that it must be after two warnings and should only be a light tap with something like a miswak and so on. The rest of the group listened with the occasional muttering of Masha Allah or some other pious comment. But I was itching to say something, as that verse had always troubled me. But as anyone who has ever sat in a halaqa or any other type of pious gathering will know, it's extremely difficult to express doubts in an environment that sees doubt as coming from Satan himself. Eventually, I blurted out, I'm sorry, but no matter what the situation, and no matter how light Hitting your wife is wrong. It's just wrong. Of course, I was then treated to a long lecture on how one must never question the wisdom of God and how this can lead to shaitan playing with my mind and that Allah's wisdom is sometimes beyond our understanding and we should simply say, سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا We hear and we obey, and so on. No one spoke up in my defence, and so I sat there red-faced, feeling that everyone in the room disapproved of me. However, to my surprise, after the meeting finished, I was approached on separate occasions by people who had sat silently during the halakha, telling me in hushed tones that they too had difficulty understanding this verse, and they were so glad I said something, because they were too afraid to. There's nothing wrong with having doubts or asking questions. On the contrary, it is doubts and questions that has led to great advances in human history, while unquestioning obedience only enslaves man and holds him back. A belief that demands you don't doubt or ask questions is a belief that must be doubted and must be questioned. Real truth has nothing to fear from doubts or questions. Never be afraid to stand up in dissent. There are others just waiting for you to do so.